It was near the end of the day and the temperature was in a race with our spirits to see which could drop the quickest. With several good fish eluding us, we knew we only had one last section of creek we could fish before we would have to leave. But then I heard my friend Bradley yelling at me from further up the creek about seeing a rather large fish. I quickly ran up the stream and looked over his shoulder, and it was a giant. In fact, it was the biggest fish I had ever seen in this creek. Got him. Holy cow. That's a huge fish, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that's huge! Yes. As is typical with this time of year, Bradley and I were fighting snowmelt. It's not quite as extreme as it is out west when the rivers get high and turn muddy, but it still drops the stream temperatures quite a bit. The water levels were perfect though, and we knew we could at least catch good numbers of fish in this particular creek. So we started fishing, picking off wild trout one by one and enjoying an incredible winter day. I'll be honest with you, I haven't even gotten a nibble. I might need to switch flies or something because I haven't even gotten a bite here, which is incredibly impressive. There's fish in there. Oh, for sure. In the next little run too. I mean. Maybe there's just a giant in there. That's possible. Interesting. There we go. Oh! It's a big one. Oh guys, I didn't get my first fish recorded because I was apparently just not recording, but did get this one, which is much smaller. It's a little prettier though. It's a wild fish. There's another fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. Look at the colors on those things. It's impressive. Thanks, buddy. Ooh. Finally. Two now out of this hole. About the same size, nothing big, but. We'll take what we can get after not catching much all day, up to this point at least. Can you chill out for me a second? For me? Relax. Relax. You're a rainbow trout. We're aware of your rainbow troutness. Someone needs to make a rain, uh, rainbow trout meme where it's like the fish that never chills, never relaxes, never does anything other than fight to their own detriment even at times. Gotta respect it. As the day progressed, fish were hitting the net, but as you can probably tell, they weren't all that impressive. Not that we were upset by the smaller fish, but it was just a bit slower than what we had envisioned when we planned the trip. But just as our hope was slipping away, I happened to spot the tail of a much larger fish. Now this fish wasn't huge, but at around 16 inches, it was double the size of anything else I had caught that day. So I sat down and started trying different flies, hoping the fish would eat. He'll rotate around. He goes all the way to that far left side, then he, there he is. I'll see him. See how he just, he just kind of moves around randomly. Yeah. Thing is, I didn't even get a bite in this hole, so I don't know, so I don't know where he came from, where he went, what's he doing, what he's doing. I thought that was a fish at first. I think it's just the bottom. Oh, that's not the fish. Hopefully, they didn't spook him. I said, that's not the fish. Hopefully, they didn't spook him. Come here, Mr. Fish. You aren't what I'm looking for. I'm really shocked. Like I'm, he's, he's, eating. he's eating something. He looks like he's eating something. I mean, it's... Oh! You were, you were on him that time and he disappeared. I saw. I still saw him a second ago, didn't I? Yeah, he's still sitting there. 
but yeah, yeah. definitely move that combo once you set the belt. I don't know. I mean, it stopped for a second, so I set, but I didn't really feel anything. I mean, he could have grabbed it. It's not possible. Some crazier things have happened. That's silly, Sukas. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me pop this back on there so he'll... I mean, we could, another thing we might have to do is we might have to just pull back and let them sit, you know? Like, we, we can always break it and, you know, give them a break and then come back. Mm -hmm. Where's he at? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see him now. He's way up in that left side current scene, higher. He's like, I think he is. Look for a second. I just I saw him a second ago, and I oh no, he's right here next to us again. Yeah, he's, right here. he's like rotating around. Like, he, does that make sense? Like, he's just. Yeah, he does. I would have thought the egg would have caught him. To be honest with you, that's what I was thinking slash hoping would happen. That's it right there. Yeah. That's it right there. Come on, buddy. He's okay. He, he's set. Oh, yeah. He's fine. I just can't believe he didn't get hooked there. It's just, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I set on him and everything. It was good. I, knew that was a I failed, which isn't entirely unusual. And honestly, I don't know that I would have done anything different given the circumstances. But after briefly hooking the fish, I figured we'd better move on so we didn't waste our entire afternoon messing around with one fish. So we continued up the creek with our eyes peeled looking for larger fish like the one I had just seen. And eventually I was rewarded big time. Ooh, yeah. There's a fish. It's mm, a good little fishy. Good little buddy. Beautiful little fish there. Thanks for playing, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finally. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Rainbow trout. There you go, buddy. So unnecessary. I see a big one. It's a huge fish, dude. Huge. Come here. Look right here on the right side. See that big dark thing swimming? <laughs> See him? <laughs> I assume he'll eat. No. He like moved, but didn't. We're gonna catch this fish. He has no clue. So I'm saying I'm in a position where I'm gonna try to like. I just I can't see my fly or him really. I'm gonna try to get this far side over here. Let me see if he. Okay, so that he didn't. Well, the problem is I can't really tell what he's even trying to look at. Like, what do you wanna? You know what I mean? Like, like what a weird place to sit. Okay, that was too far to the left, I think. Hard to see. Yeah. Hey, you, you got better. Got him. Yeah. Yep. Let's get it. 
There we go. Oh, baby, nice. Yes. <laughs> that's a good one, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, I just saw him move a little bit and I was like, that's mm -hmm. gotta be it. Yep. All right, so me and Brad are out here working our butts off for these stinking fish. This one, we came up, we're sight fishing for him and finally got a good one. Grill out. Skinny, skinny girl, but it's still a real awesome looking rainbow trout. Chill out, girl. But that's a good fish. I'm not gonna complain about catching fish like that, especially when you're sight fishing for them in this tiny little creek. So get this girl released and we'll see if we can go back through and catch some of the fish that we already kind of screwed up. At this point, I told Bradley that my day had been made. Catching a fish that big in a creek that small is always a blast, especially after realizing it was blind in one eye, which just added an extra bit of character. But we still had a little over an hour left of fishing, so we figured we'd work back down the creek towards where I'd spotted that big fish earlier and try to end the day on a high note. But as the air temperatures dropped, it felt like the bite had started to turn off. And then, just as we were losing hope about catching any more fish that day, Bradley yelled at me from the creek saying he had spotted a giant. You might have to cast into that slack and let it circle around, see what I'm saying? Yeah, this fish is hard to see, I see him. God, he's hard to see. There's, there's some spot. This fish to me looks like the one that I caught. Where it's like there's one, there's some spot in here where if you get the fly in the right spot, he'll probably eat it. Yeah. Because he's looking at something. You know what I mean? Like a fish doesn't sit in the current like that for no reason. I'm gonna change that. I think we can catch him. Yeah, yeah. I think this fish is more catchable than any of the other ones. I'm just gonna record on my GoPro. Yeah. That way, if you catch him, you get a picture. Let's see if I can't spot the thing again. Oh, I see him. Oh my gosh, yeah, you should go catch that fish. He ain't hit yet, but he's on. It's kicking it out fast, but there's no way he's sitting there for no reason. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. he's fighting hard to sit that, that spot. That's a real nice fish. A real nice <laughs> That's a 20 for sure, gotta be. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> you can't see him, and then all of a sudden you see, you see him move a second, and you're like, wait a minute. Got him. Holy cow. That's a huge fish, dude. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> that's huge! Yeah. Holy crap! Dude, that's, that's way bigger. Fish. Yes! Holy crap! That fish is huge. Oh, I'll get the camera, I'll get the camera. Dude, I mean huge. <laughs> dude, I mean that's that's over 20 for sure. Way over. I don't have any way to met here. I'll move you. I'm just gonna put your hold on, just give me a second. I'm gonna flex this. That's huge, dude. That is the biggest fish I've ever seen in this creek. And by the way, this is all public water. In fact, Bradley and I planned this trip out in part to hopefully stay away from the pressure this stream receives. So catching a trophy-sized trout in a tiny piece of public water is nothing short of impressive. Especially when you consider that we use Bradley's net to measure this fish at 23 and a half inches. After releasing that fish, I decided to take one last shot at the fish I had lost earlier and managed to actually get some revenge. But the fish didn't seem quite as impressive after what Bradley had just caught. But I can't see him. Oh, he moved a long ways for that that time. I must, I must have been on top of him. I couldn't. Got him. Yeah. Baby, come on. <laughs> or one of them. Real, it's a real skinny fish. That, that's that's. I think that's one of them. It might be the big one. Yeah, it does. I was gonna say the cast right before I caught him. He moved a long ways to look at that, and I was like, oh, surely if I can get it in there again where he can see it. This is the day I won't soon forget because I got to spend a winter's day with a genuinely great dude and we got to catch some incredible fish. Thanks for watching and if you've made it this far consider subscribing and supporting the channel. Catch you on the next one.